My dear brothers and sisters, you will lose everything. These words might be scary for some people who love the materialistic things. But today, for all who want to know and hear the truth, I invite you all, come forward and let us hear the words of our Lord Jesus Christ, who spoke of the fleeting nature of earthly possessions and the futility of striving after material wealth. He reminded us that when our spirits depart from our bodies, nothing in this world will go with us. Everything we fought over, whether it be money, properties or possessions, will all fade away like a dream. Think about it, my beloveds. How many times have we seen families torn apart over inheritances, siblings turning against each other over material wealth? We fight over houses, cars, lands, riches, forgetting that a true portion lies in the grave. Yes, the grave, where we all eventually will return where no earthly possession can accompany us. Remember, dear child of God, no title, no position, no amount of wealth can save us from the inevitable fate that awaits us all. But there is still hope, my dear friends. There is hope in the one true divine God revealed in the flesh and his name is Jesus Christ. He offers us a new heart, a transformed way of thinking that transcends the materialism of this world. So why do we cling to earthly treasures that will ultimately perish? Why do nations fight and scheme for power and control when in the end we all return to dust? It is time to shift our focus from the temporal to the eternal, from the material to the spiritual. Let us not be blinded by the lies of the enemy, who seeks to distract us with earthly pursuits. Instead, let us fix our eyes on Jesus Christ, the altar and the perfecter of our faith. Let us allow God to change us from the inside out so that we may see the world through His eyes. For it is only God who can protect, provide and give us the true fulfillment. Let us not build our lives on the shifting sands of the worldly wealth but on the solid rock of His promises. And as we journey through this life, May we always remember that a true treasure lies in God alone. In Jesus' name I pray for every one of you. Amen.